Round five begins. Scheduled 12. The dancing ends as Cesar Soto drives Prince Nassim Hamed back into the corner. Action slows. That appears to be somewhat to Soto's advantage as he tries to get opportunities to pound Prince Nassim to the body. Arm punches by Nassim. He hasn't thrown anything with real power on it in a round and a half. And it'll be interesting to see what penalty this draws from referee Dale Grable. He's going to deduct another point, I think, from Prince Nassim. Grable wants Soto's people out of the corner. Second point deducted from Nassim. And if he rules it on sportsmanlike conduct, then the next instance of that could lead to disqualification. Harold Letterman, Harold Letterman, is Prince Nassim on the verge of a disqualification here? <laughs> you got to wonder, certainly he's close. I mean, he picked up Soto and body slammed him. If I were Grable, I would have done the same thing, Jim. He had to. What I don't think he had any choice. Do? Had no choice. I said all along, this referee was not the right guy to be in there messing with these champions. Yeah, but this is an ugly fight because of the way Soto is fighting with his head down and his hands high, trying to get in close. He's solid now. He's fighting and, in good, solid position. And because uh, Hamed is left-handed, and so they don't mesh right, and the judge is trying to make some sense of the Great, fight that it may not be possible to make any sense of. Times like this, you would like the commissioners to get in and have a little powwow with the referee and, let, and see exactly where he's coming from. And now Prince Nassim seems to suddenly have decided that he needs to take this into his own hands, and he begins to fire Great. heavy power shots for the first time since the third round. Well, Roy Jones was unbeaten and lost on a disqualification against Montel Griffin. Oscar De La Hoya was unbeaten and lost on a controversial decision against Felix Trinidad. Could Prince Nassim see his record sullied for the first time on a disqualification here? He seems ever dangerously closer to it. Switching feet, trying to land something big out of the blue. Round five comes to a close. Now you're doing it. Now you're doing. You step up, and that's why a fighter pays a trainer. You step in, and you step in and do something. The reference is to Emmanuel Stewart, who has come into the ring to make his presence felt with Dale Grable, and now Miguel Diaz has come in to join the conversation. And the round card girl doesn't have any room to move. Now, now she manages to slip by and let us know that round six is upcoming. And she doesn't give a damn about any of it. And that's why he be disqualified. So many guys, all they do is sit back in the corner and wait for their paychecks. This is what you hire a manager and trainer for. To get in there, the don't be afraid of these referees. The previous round, and obviously deliberate. And now Naz comes out of his corner to wait for round six. The crowd gets juiced as they get two replay views of...